Hello, hello, hello. Let's see if we are working everywhere. Oops, it would help if I was on the right Facebook page. <laughs> Here we go. So we are live on Facebook. I can see it nice and clearly. And we are live on the tube. Nice and clearly. So good evening, everybody. Happy New Year. It feels like forever since we had a live, although it actually wasn't because I did do a workshop in between Christmas and New Year. So how are you all? Curled up with a hot water bottle to keep warm. Do you know what, Saz? We've got the heating on and I've even put the gas fire on in the living room. That's how cold it is. <laughs> so how are you all? So, oh, crikey, there's a few of you here already. So good evening, everybody. Hi, Joanne, Emma, Andrea, Elaine, Saz, Paula, Irene, Carol, Trudy, Susan, anybody I've missed, I apologise. I'll try and keep up with you. I'm looking forward to this. So, <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> A long time no see. You still can't see me. And it's just as well because I've been twirling my hair so I look like I've got horns. Hi, Wilbur. Back to, yeah, we're back to normal. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Patricia. Let me take this little thing off so you can see what I'm going to be messing with tonight. Hi, Emma. Hi, Vicky. Oh, it feels like ages, but it, it isn't. It's only a few weeks, but it does feel like a long time. So come on, Facebook, catch up. Let everybody get in. Can't find you on Facebook yet. You need just... It's, it's live, Pam, on the Sentimentally Yours page. I've just seen it. Hi, Mel. <laughs> so let's get this show on the road. I'm not going to start until more of you are here. So you can probably tell looking at the camera that I've bought a new stand. Oh, well, I call it a stand, a new gripper thing, a phone holder. So I've got it a little bit closer. So I want you to tell me as we go through if you like the picture closer or if you want me to move it further away. I can't do it tonight, but if you tell me at the end, I can change it for next time. If, if I... <laughs> If I'm honest with you, I'm looking at my computer screen in front. So I'm looking at YouTube at the minute in front. I've got Facebook on my iPad on that side and I've got my phone above me. And the phone is literally it, near my nose. <laughs> so if I, if I headbutt the camera, you know why. It's right in the middle of my screen. But it should be fun. It should be funny. If I headbutt the camera, if the camera goes wobbly, you know it's because I've headbutted it. Hi, Caroli. How are you? Hi, Sue. See you in the morning. I, I, <laughs> so, well, I'm not going to show you now, but I might show you next time. No, no sneaky peeks till the end of the month. New stuff is at the end of the month. And there are seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 12 things, I think, at the end of the month. And you prepare yourself. Because you're going to need it all. Linda, it's cold. Our eating broke. Oh my God, Linda, you must be frozen, darling. If you were closer, you could have come and sat with us. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it could be funny if I had put the camera. Not so much for my head, but for you, for you lot watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, tw no, not storage yet, Bev. Not be long though, not be long. Hi Margaret, happy new year to you as well. Is the, this is the first one of 2024, which sounds really strange saying it. Sounds really strange saying 2024 and I'm pretty sure I'll be writing 2023 every time I have to write a date. So let's just quickly, quickly go through some of the bits I'm going to be using tonight. Um, Remember before we broke up for Christmas? <laughs> yeah, probably, Patricia, sorry. Oh, my God, Bev. Hi, Michelle. Oh, my God, your cooker broke. You could have come and cooked your dinner here, Chuck. Or at the shop. There's an oven at the shop. Storage is, storage is coming, yes. Storage is definitely coming. Do you know what, Jackie? I remember you telling me this every year. And it's, can you remember me telling you, Jackie, yours is the end of January and mine is the beginning of February. Not, I don't have MOTs, but the insurance is always due for renewal at the beginning of February. So I always know when yours is due, Jackie. Hi, Lynn. 
<laughs> Fridge freezer broke the week before Christmas. Oh my word. We've all been in the war so we can have a bit of fun tonight. Sat next to the radiator with audio. <laughs> Hi Jennifer, toasty and warm, well I'm lovely and warm in here. Hi, right, so good evening to everybody I haven't spoken to already, there's a few of you I've not said hello to yet, so, oh Elaine, I hope you're feeling better. I'm just flicking between Facebook and YouTube just to make sure I don't miss any of you. We, we, uh, we got up this morning to a little dusting of snow, but it hasn't touched wood. It hasn't amounted to anything. No, you don't, Bev. No, you don't. The only place I like snow is on a Christmas card. <laughs> oh, bless you. Hi, Valerie. I hope you're on top form. Well, let's find out. No, it's not binders, Lee. It's not binders. I'm not doing storage binders. They're far too common. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do common, as you know. Right, so I've got my coffee. I'm going to get a drink before I start. Hi, hiya. You can, yeah, I don't want any snow. Thank you very much. Phil, my dad always used to say that about snow. Don't he only like it on a Christmas card? Well, hi, easy babe. We don't. I might, we might be common, but we don't do common. <laughs> <laughs> right. So before I forget to tell you all, my show, the next shows. So the 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 first new release is the end of January. Now I haven't decided yet whether. They've offered me two different types of show. Um, on the th I can either do the 30th or the 31st, and I haven't decided which shows I want to do yet. But, yeah, he is, Brenda. But I will definitely be on on either the 30th or the 31st. And I already know from what they've said to me is I haven't got enough stock. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. So you've been warned. Right, let's get cracking. Let's get on with the show. So we're going to do what I'm calling my new thing for this year. Remember before Christmas when I said to you all, 2024 is going to be the year of clean and simple-ish. Well, I've decided instead of saying ish, we're going to call it a mashup. So it's a clean and simple mashup. And I think you're going to like this card. It's going to be all about the techniques and the texture rather than shoving loads and loads of stuff on it. So there are no die cuts at all going on this card. No die cuts at all. We are going to cut a few butterflies out. So we are going to cut a few butterflies out. But I am not die cutting anything. No snow here, just ice. Canal is frozen, wow. 30th please, it's your day off, oh bless you. I've not decided yet because it's two different types of show. Thank you Vivian. There are two different types of show that they've offered me and I've not decided which one I want to do yet. Uh, despite them trying. Very interested to see the storage. I think you're going to like it, Emma. It's got different choices and you know I'm a little bit fussy. So it's taken a while. Thank you, Bev. It's taken a while. Um to get it right and I was talking to my class about it on the 3rd of January they've not had any sneaky peeks but they know they know roughly what it is so you can thank the people who come to my Sheffield class um, for you getting the storage a little bit earlier than it would have normally have been so right so clean and simple -ish, no die cuts whatsoever we're only going to have one butterfly so those of you that watch me all the time will know will know that I absolutely love the Notebook Botanical stamps, okay? Now, I have put some links in the description for the video, whether you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube, um, and there is a link to the Botanicals collection. 
Now I need to tell you all if you have if you've not seen these before and you haven't got them, we've got 15, 16, 17s left of them all. They've nearly all gone, okay? So you won't see the notebook botanicals on TV again because there's just not enough. So it'll be first it'll be fastest fingers first. We're also going to be using one of the stencils. And I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you choose which one to use. Um so we're going to be using one of the 6x6 stencils rather than one of the slim line. So in case you haven't seen these, we did uh, I did a slim line and I did a 6x6 that coordinate. So you've got uh, you've got the same same sort of design. It's not exact, but it's sort of uh, that in 6x6 and slim line. But I'm going to use the 6x6. So before I move on. Before I move on, let's choose which stencil. So just tell me left or right. So left being Mechanation, which is the one with the gears and the cogs, and right being Fanciful with the Fleur de Lis. So just say left or right, and I'll go with the, I'll go with the majority over the next couple of minutes. The butterflies and dragonfly stamps are absolutely stunning. Love the slim line now. I need, yeah. Well, there there are there are pros and cons, Brenda, for both, uh, which is why I did two different sizes of stencil. So if you're doing a, if you're doing DL cars, for example, you know the slim line are going to cover it all. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you all make me laugh. Right, we're going with right because it's all I can. Oh, apart from Marie, we're going with absolutely Wilbur. Brilliant. Oh, more, oh, well, we're going with right because there were more rights than lefts. Uh, however, what we're going to do tonight would work with either of these, which is why I chose. So we're going with the fanciful one, which is the one with the fleur de lis. <laughs> is this one that I've used? Yes, because it's still got paint on it. <laughs> we're going with the right. And that's called fanciful. So pop that there. So all I've got here for this card, this is literally all I'm using for this card. And we're going to do a couple of techniques. There's, this is more about... Hi, Angie. I am. Thank you. Sorry, Margaret. The, the right's had it. Uh, so this is more about technique and building up a background. And we're either, we're either going to have uh, two, three or one butterfly embellishment on here. That is literally it. We are using the paints tonight and we're going to use both. When I say we, I mean me, because obviously you're not doing anything apart from watching. So we've got the metallics on the right. Oh, let me just find some space. And we've got the chalky on the left. Now, you all know me well enough to know that I love my paint pots. Let's just bring them in so you can see everything. I love my little paint pots. Love them, love them, love them. And we're going to do a combination of both. We're going to use the chalky paints for the base of this. And then we're going to add some little highlights with the, with the metallic. So I can't choose which colour to go for tonight. Oh, loads of links. Loads of links. Get the stamps before they've gone because I won't get them again. I've restocked them already and that's it. No, they're, they're not being done again. So I'm going to try and find two colours that kind of coordinate. Uh, I'm assuming most of you have seen the new, the new Distress Oxide Scorch Timber. <laughs> now this is a brand new one I've not opened it yet so I'm going to open it and show you what it looks like tonight I'm not using that up tonight though so do we go blue and brown pink and brown or green and brown now I'm asking you but I'm, it's rhetorical I'm going to choose for myself we're going to do 
we're going to do <laughs> we're going to do teal and brown we're going to do teal and brown with a hint of copper so this is the color palette i've gone for you can do this whatever color palette you choose so this is what i've gone for so we've got in the in the uh, metallic we've got the teal in the metallic the copper in the chalky we've got dreamy chocolate and in the chalky we've got one of the new colors which is petrol blue I've, I see I love I love teals yeah so this is the this is the kind of palette we're going for you can see that these are going to work really nicely together so pop them to one side do, do, do. that's fell off my this is from this is what happens when you twirl your hair look it falls out <laughs> <laughs> The Noble Botanicals are on offer, are they? I didn't know that. If I'd have known that, I would have used something else. I and uh, watching the Australian Open. Yeah, we've been watching it in the morning. <laughs> Always dreaming of chocolate. Elaine, I've missed something. There you go, see? It's a, you love it when it's a colour palette, not in your comfort zone. And I... I like doing that. No, but botanicals are on offer, Karen said. Tears that you go to every time. Yeah, we all, we all have colours that we go to all the time. Uh, but I, I try to do things that we've not done for a while. Okay, so... In, this is an A5 piece which is a fair bit, it's not, it's 15 by 21. So I've got 15 by 21, 14 and a half by 20 and a half. No, I haven't, I'm lying to you. 15 by 21, 14 by 20, 13 and a half by 19 and a half. I forgot, 11 by 16, I think. 11 by 16 and 10 and a half by 15 and a half. And we're going to work on, this is the base, this is staying plain white and we're going to work on these top two panels. So we're working on the large, so this is going to be a clean and simple-ish mashup. Clean and simple mashup. So it is clean and simple, sort of, but it's not going to be covered in loads of embellishments. I think another hair's just fell off me head into me, onto my nose. And we're going to work on these two pieces at the same time. So this is a this is a lovely little technique for you all that I don't think you've seen me do before. Oh, I can do it all on one piece. I can do it all on one piece. Oh, that's lovely, Maureen. I'll, I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? Because we sold a lot of the markers because obviously they've been on a really good deal. Um, I, I think I'm going to try and do a couple of videos for you on YouTube of, of different images, colouring different images in. Right, so this these are the top two panels, and I'm just gonna you you could use some um, double sided tape for this, but I ain't got any, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the back, and I'm just rubbing it off, and I'm going to fix this in position. You can see what I've done with this card. I've not just done straight matting and layering. Let me just make sure I've got the right one before I start. I have. So I've got that sort of in the right place. 
So I'll just show you what I've done here. So the borders are the same, top left and right, but at the bottom, it's a larger border. Not moving anywhere, bless you, Tracy. Right, so we've got we've got the uh, background card in position. So these are the two the two top layers. These are the ones that are going to be decorated. And we're going to bring in the stencil. So let me just tell you why I've done this. So I should be able to pull I should be able to pull that off, and it won't matter if it gets damaged underneath because it's going to be covered up. But what we're going to do is we're going to continue the pattern. So we're going to do a, a sort of diagonal, a diagonal from there to there and from there to there. Here we go. I've got some, what was that? I don't know what that was, but it's gone now. And we're going to start with, let's start with the chalky paints. So petrol blue and dreamy chocolate. Now I'm going to stipple this. You know I am. And I've been very naughty. I've left one of my old scabby brushes in the jar of water. I've just done my workshops with America. And my brushes are still in... <laughs> my brushes are still in <laughs> the water. <laughs> Which is shocking. Hi, Elaine. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Don't do what I've done. And leave your brushes in water. It's bad for them. <laughs> now, now, funnily enough, you all know I suffer from migraines, but chocolate doesn't affect me, and neither does cheese, which is really good because I like both of those things. So we're going to stipple some of this paint through, and I'll start with the uh, pe the petrol blue. And we're going to do, try and keep this sort of straight. I'm not going to stand, I'm not going to stick it down. I'm just going to hold it in position. And we're going to do a little diagonal. So I'm going to go across here and then I'm going to do the same from that side as well. Petrol blue. Hi Heather. Let me just make sure I've not missed anybody while I'm talking. Oops. can see them in the description but not in the conversation oh do you know what Mel are you, are you talking I'm sorry everybody I'm just on YouTube are you talking about links I think I have to do it Mel tell me what you were tr tell me what you were trying to get links for I don't think it lets other people post links anymore uh, so I'll see if I can if you tell me what you were putting links on for I'll do it for you while I'm st before I start I can't enable it for other people to do either. Yeah, long, long list. <laughs> I'll keep it. I'll keep an eye. I'll keep checking back. Hi, Susan. Right. Okay. So we're gonna step up. So for en for anybody who hasn't had any of my paints yet. Um, you really need to get some of them. The chalky ones are my favourite, as you can tell. You can tell. Oops. You can, look. Chalky on the left, metallic on the right. They are second to none. They are amazing. Hi, Leslie. So I'm going to use this from the lid until the lid starts to dry up. I'm going to use it from the lid. Now I've just realised because I put the camera closer, I'm working further away than I would normally do. So let's just see how we go. This is where the camera might get head buttered. And I'll tell you in a second why, why I'm doing these two layers in one go, okay? So I'm picking some of the paint up. I'm gonna just tap off some of the excess. And we're going to just loosely stipple through. So 
so I'm not filling the whole thing again. And we are going diagonal. And if I just lift this up and show you, you'll see this lovely, lovely, gorgeous texture that we're getting because I'm stippling. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going all the way across diagonally. And I'm going to stop there. And I'll tell you why I'm stopping there. Because if you look, this is not in the right position. And I want this pattern to come down here and off the edge of the page. So I'm taking that off. I'm going to come, in fact, do you know what? I'm going to do that because I might as well keep it all in the same dirty space. And we're going to do that. I love this colour. And we're going to carry on from the bottom down here. And this is why six by six stencils are just so good. We've taken a six by six stencil and we've made it long bigger just by moving it around. I am tapping the excess off, as you can see. I want a motley finish. Let's just see if I've done enough. Oh, I love this so much. I'm just gonna come down here a little bit more. Oh, that's just fabulous. And you all know I'm using my old scabby brushes that I've had for years. This is too straight. That's too straight. So I'm just making it a bit uneven. That's marvellous. 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 Okay, and then we're going to go in with the brown. So I'm using Dreamy Chocolate for this. And I'm literally going to put the stencil back and just do some highlights. Hopefully, Tracy. See, I love teal. I love, I love teal and browns together particularly. So I'm going to line up the stencil, which is easy to do, and it doesn't matter if you're a little bit off, because we've gone we've gone stippled. And I'm going to do less of the chocolate than I did the teal, but we're just going for it. Looks it'll look almost rusty when we've finished. So we're getting this gorgeous two tone just from a couple of paints and I've got I've got to be honest I think I prefer paints with a stencil than I do inks I think the effects you can get are better so let's just see if that's enough that looks amazing oh look at that oh that's so lovely so I'm going to do the same down the bottom line it up doesn't matter if you get it smudged anywhere. It really won't matter. I'm actually not taking any more chocolate from the, from the pot. I'm just using it from what's on the kitchen roll here. That, do you know what, everybody? I wish you could see this in real life because it looks absolutely stunning. Oh, I love that. Let me show you. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. In case I didn't tell you, and I'm going to wipe the paint off there. <laughs> <laughs> I've made you all want chocolate now. <laughs> it's 
got texture by adding more or less paint. Absolutely, Elaine. And if you've got my, if you've got my, um, if you've got the, if you've got, oh, put your teeth in, Phil. If you've got the chalky paint and you put them on thickly, it will dry thick as well. And if you've got my texture medium, you can mix the chalky paints and the metallic with the texture medium. So you could create your own your own coloured texture paste just from the paints. So I've cleaned that off. That's lessons learned the hard way. It does it does wash off if you leave it to dry. But it's harder work, so do it while it's still a little bit damp. So let's get rid of that. Let's just dry that before I put my before I put my uh, card on the wet mat. <coughs> Would you get the same effect if you used a sponge? Probably, Debbie. Probably. I I'll tell you what else works. This works as well. So if you've got a bit of if you've got a bit of kitchen paper. If you've got a bit of kitchen paper just make it a small a small bit and that would work as well you could do it like that i'm going to just chuck these in the water so they don't dry out so i'm going to bring this back in and separate them now and that's what we've ended up with look i oh my god this is just too lovely it's too lovely So now we're going to work with the stamps. I'm going to put the lid on. We are going to come back to the paints after we've done a little bit of stamping. And we are going to do some flex of the um, metallic as well. So we're going to bring in the stamps now. I'm, I'm not using them. I don't know why I've got the flower one out. I'm going to use the textures. So if you remember everybody, when I first released these, I told you we would use these constantly, constantly. And we're gonna, I don't know whether to do rectangles. Do you know what? Let's do rectangles because we've got a rectangle card. And we're going to test the new Distress Oxide color. So let's test this Distress Oxide and see if it matches what we're doing. If it doesn't, we'll resort to the fallen leaves to the fallen leaves. This to me looks like a greeny brown, but we all know not to judge the colors by the packaging. So let's now see what this looks like. I do like the brown distress oxides, I've got to say everybody. And this is, this is the last color apparently. Oops, I better get a stamp. So let's have this little joined up rectangle set. And let's see what it looks like. I've literally just opened this ink pad. Now I think that's a gorgeous color. And you know what? It matches perfectly. Look at that. Oops, let's bring it in. It's a gorgeous brown. It's it's a I'm trying to think what kind of it's like it is like a chocolatey brown. Look at the colour next to the paint. So we need that. So yes, I can use that, which is a bonus, because I didn't know whether I would be able to or not. So I'm now going to add a couple of these little rectangles just off the page. Oops, move that out of the way. So this now is literally just a couple of off the page rectangles. Hang on, that's bugging me. Hang on, hang on. There. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
and yes you can stamp over the paints and me being me you know what I'm doing let's do it that way I don't want too much and keep down here You know when I tell you all the time, trust the process, that's what you've got to do. So we're going to do the bottom one. There. I'm not going to do any more than that on that. And then we're going to have a couple of random ones on here. I know Lender is a perfect match. <laughs> And I've literally just opened it. I mean, I have got two, but the other one's still in the wrapper as well. So we're just going to add a couple of these just randomly. I don't think I'm going to do them. Oh, I will do the middle. So I'll do it the opposite way to that one. Do this one the opposite way on just there. Let's clean that stamp. Dreamy chocolate, Maureen. Dreamy, dreamy chocolate in the chalky paints. Right, so put that back and then I won't lose it. I'm not going to put any more textures on just yet. But we will afterwards. What I am going to do while we wait a second for that to dry is just stamp a couple of the butterflies. So I'm going to, I'm going to stamp three. And I'm going to do three the same size. Which one shall I do? Which is the easiest to cut out? This one. So these are the butterflies that come with the botanical collection. And because the oxides take longer to dry, I'm gonna stamp these now so that they can be drying. That is nothing like the cover, is it, look? It's better. So put your stamps back and then you don't lose them. That means, I'm, Elaine, that means I'm doing my job right, Chuck. <laughs> but, I mean, hopefully you all know, you all know that I'm... If I, even if I say it myself, I'm pretty good with colour. Uh, I'm pretty good at um, laying colour out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the brayer and we're going to brayer over this. Okay. Now you need to trust me when I do this. And we could have we could have done this the other way on. I'm not going to brayer the background. I'm leaving it. Well, I might do. I might just do the edges. But we're going to brayer over this using the paints, and we'll do we'll do the uh, petrol blue first, 
I might not actually. I'm not, we're gonna dry brush, ignore me. We're going to dry brush it instead. It says with a wet brush, let me just find a, let me just find a dry brush, bear with me a sec. We're gonna dry brush it instead. Because we can. And this is shocking, Philip Martin. Look at the state you've left this brush in. <laughs> I hope we've got some more of these brushes at the shop. Glad you were doing it and not me as a... You wouldn't make a mess of it, Margaret. You cannot make a mess of this. You cannot make a mess of this. Do you want me to bray her over it? Do you want me to show you what it looks like? Or do you want, shall I carry on with my dry brushing? <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> Tell me what you want me to do, dry brush or brayer. I'm happy either way. We've got one, Janet. Uh, Jana, if if you're in the Facebook group, there is a there is a chart in there that shows you what ink does what. And what to use it for. Let's just see what everybody's saying. You've all gone quiet now. You'd like to see how to use the brayer. Oh, come on. Dry brayer, dry brush, brayer, brayer. Well, let, do you know what? Let's do both. Let's do both because this background is going to be... I can't... I really want to show you the project that I did with, my, with the American shop owners the other day, but I can't because it's got the new flower dyes on. But what I'm doing now had the same sort of thing. So we're going to brayer it. And we're brayering with paint. So we are brayering this with paint. And I'm not going to do it with both colours. I'm just going to do it with the teal. The petrol blue. So I'm hoping you've all got a, a hard, a hard, well my brayers as you know are hard red rubber. So the ones that Barb uses are the speedball brayers, which are soft rubber. So if you're doing techniques like Barb does, where she loves, she gets that lovely blended background, the speedball is, is better. But when I was sourcing brayers, I specifically wanted the hard red rubber because what we're about to do works better with a hard, with a hard brayer. <laughs> Bev says Brea Brea because I've posted a link for the Brea <laughs> Oh that's brilliant Right so I'm painting some of the paint onto my Brea Now remember everybody the paints are water based So it will wash off it will wipe off your Brea easily So there are a couple of little tips I can give you for this we're not covering the whole we're not covering the whole image what we're trying to do is get some some textures on here so i've just put about an inch look so just in about an inch well that's my kind of inch i'm just going to take off the excess so i've taken off a lot of the wetness look and i'm literally just going to run that over So it's catching it all at different times. And now it's gone dry, so I need to do a bit more. It's better to do this a little bit at a time and build it up than go too heavy and not be able to take it off. So exactly the same thing, painting the brayer on uh, painting the ink on the brayer 
just take off the excess. We're not trying to cover the whole thing. We're just trying to get lines on it. So let's just get a bit on this corner. I'm just going to do a little bit more in this corner. Perfect. Perfect. And I'm going to do... No, I'm going to leave that one clean. I'm going to leave that one clean. I'm just going to wipe this off. And now you're all panicking. I'm not even looking at my screen, but I can feel the panic coming from the monitor. <laughs> but panic ye not panic ye not <laughs> car's driven over it <laughs> that's brilliant I'm just going to add a little bit to these edges I just want it a little bit I just want it a little bit darker in the corners. I just want it darker in the corners, so just bear with me. You will understand why in a second. I might give this away. I'll give this card away to somebody in the Facebook group. So if you haven't joined the Facebook group yet, now's your chance to do it. So Crafting with Phil Martin and Sentimentally Yours is our Facebook group. And I will give this away to somebody tomorrow night when I get back from the shop. Tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night, probably. Right, okay. <coughs> I'm going to leave that clean because if you look at that look, look how lovely that looks. Or it will in a minute. We're going to come back to this. This is dry now. Well, I've not finished yet, Michelle. Wait till I've, wait till I've finished. So remember when I said to you, trust me. Trust me. When I've finished, this will be a lot softer than what you're looking at now, okay? We're gonna bring the stencil back in. Oh, we are if I can find it. We're gonna bring the stencil in and I'm doing this before I do the next stage. So we'll have some copper. We'll have a little bit of copper on here. Yeah, I'll sign and give it away. Oh, look at this colour. That's just too lush. So, just a little top tip for you all. Combining paints is a really nice effect. So we're, we're, we're going to add a few little highlights with the copper. Uh, I might not need to use the teal. I might do, we'll see. Uh, so combining combining two different paints on one project looks nice if you do it if you do it cleverly. Uh, and the biggest tip I can give you is to only use a little bit of the metallic. I'm just gonna see if I've got I think I've got yellow paint on that. No, we're alright. So we're now going over the we're going over the bray ring. I've got that upside down. No, I haven't. We're going over the bray ring. And we're going over the two layers of paint that are already there. And 
we're going to add just, just some little highlights with the copper paint. Oh, this looks amazing. I can't wait to show you this. I've literally just dabbed it twice. Now this will be knocked back in a second. And when I say knocked back, I don't mean declined. <laughs> I mean the colour's going to be knocked back with gesso. Just trying to line that up. Don't worry about it being perfect because it doesn't matter. That's I'm just going to do a little bit more on there. Pretty perfect. How gorgeous is that? That's just fabulous. So that is as much as we're going to do with the copper paint for now. Yeah, the thing I think the thing is with 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 techniques like this, with projects like this, is just going for it this is going to look nothing like this in a second i promise you it's going to look nothing like that in a second i'm trying to remember which is the top corner that's the top corner do clean the metallic paints off before they dry remember all of these paints you can use as watercolor paints as well you can literally dilute them with water and paint with them Kitchen roll number three, please. Oh, sorry, no. Kitchen roll number 33, please. I'm reusing a bit. Yeah, we're going to gesso on top of it. No, it can go on top, Elaine. And it looks amazing. Oh, you all need to just be brave. Nice shimmer on that copper. There is Amanda. And I've only used a tiny bit. But... The can you see the combination now of the chocolate with the petrol blue and the copper? It's, it's a really beautiful combination. Now you'll notice I haven't cleaned my copper brush. I've left a bit of paint on there that's still there. Because when I knock this back with gesso in a second, I might want to go in again with the, um, with the copper. Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Right, so gesso... Just got to make sure that's dry. It is dry. That, that's not from there. That, <laughs> that's from painting earlier. So we're going to get the gesso. And we're going to dry brush. So you, you've won. We did brayering and now we're going to dry brush. So this is actually my dry brush that I used for my workshop with America the other day. Uh, it's not quite dry so I can't use it. And I'm ashamed that I didn't clean it properly. In fact, Karen, if we've got any more of these brushes at the shop, I'll have a set, please. This is what happens, everybody, when you leave your posh paint brushes in a jar of water. They split. <laughs> I'm, laugh I'm laughing, but I shouldn't. I should be ashamed of myself. <laughs> Don't leave your posh brushes in water. <laughs> we could do that michelle remind me michelle send me a send me an email you should have me email from when i've sent you the videos send me an email we can do something like this easily right so we're now going to dry brush so dry brushing literally is what it says so a couple of tips for dry brushing i'll put the gesso on the end I'm going to take it, take off 
as much as I can. Well, as a bit. And I'm going to do this in mid-air. No, I won't. I'll do it on here to make it easier for you all. So we're literally just brushing in from the side. Can you see how much softer that corner is to that one? I'm going to do it from the other side. Remember, just to keep an eye on your brush, because the gesso, if it's too wet, will pick up the colour of the paint. I hope I'm not shouting, because the phone's closer than it normally is. I wish we'd taken a before and after photo. Now look how much softer that is now. Just by adding the gesso. So what's happened now is we've we've now made, we've created um, one, two, one, two, three, four five we've got five layers on this five layers of product now i'm just going to show you my personal preference so we've obviously softened this whole background yeah and my personal preference when i'm gessoing to, to knock the color back as i call it i like to make the edges a little bit whiter so i'm just going to go just on the edges this is a personal thing not everybody likes to do this this is why i remember when i said to you i'm making the corners darker and this reminds me when i used to watch leone and i used to say to her you've done all that lovely background and then you've covered it up with whatever but look how gorgeous that looks now so we've still got some shimmer coming through. And now the brayer, when you all did a sharp intake of breath and panicked, look how lovely that background looks. You cannot do it wrong. You, you can't do it wrong. And that's the wrong way up. It should be that way. And then if I just show you how this piece looks, next to the background now, look. How gorgeous is that? Oh, it is the wrong way up. No, it was right the first time. Yeah, so can you see, look, the pattern follows on. The corners don't, but the pattern does. And I'm going to leave that as it is. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Let's just put a little bit more. Let's just put a little bit more copper on. I'm just going to put a little bit more copper on just because we can. Just because we can and it's on the brush. And I'm going over the gesso for this. Oh, that's so nice. Do you know what? I said this was going to be a quick one, but it's not turned out to be quick, has it? But still, it's the first one, so... I'm just going over the gesso in the corners, look. With little bits of the... Oh, that's so lovely. Let me show you this. Oh, it's fab. Painting the water, brushing the water. And I'm just gonna clean this brush, everybody. Forgive me a second. 
but I can't leave that big brush in the water because I can't afford for that one to crack as well. Hi Celia, you must have a go at it and and I mean you all know I like pretty cars, pretty is my thing but I absolutely love techniques like this so this is actually really really easy to do and just just to give you another idea, just to throw another idea out there if you did, if you use some scraps, some scraps of card and did this technique you could just leave it to dry and then die cut your flowers from it it would look amazing right let's go on with the rest of this card now i just didn't want that to be left in the water oh have i got time to have a drink of this cold coffee Mm. It's bloody freezing. Bloody freezing. So we're going to start putting this card together. So I've... Uh, let me just explain to you what I've done. Oh, bugger. Oh, sugar. Let me just explain to you why I did what I did. So we've got the A5, we've got the A5 card base. So I don't make full cards, as you know. Not when I'm doing demos, but you imagine that is your A5 card blank. Yeah. So you imagine that's your A5 card blank. Then we've got a plain white layer, a centimetre smaller. We've got the first layer of the background. So this is the introduction to this. Yeah. And you could colour it all the same, but I like the look how that stands out so nicely on the white. So we've got a white space in between that painted one. And if you remember, we did this. So when I stuck when I stuck this piece on to do the stenciling in one go, it will now line up when I put another white gap. So we've got another white space in between, which what that does is it makes this pop out a little bit more, but it also carries the design on. So can you see, it's not perfect because I'm, I'm not glued it down yet, but can you see, look, there, we've got card blank, white layer, first painted layer, white space, and then that little design in the corner matches up perfectly so it looks like we've done it all in one piece i hope that makes sense it did in my head when i was saying it so let me just glue this on and get it out of the way so it is clean and simple and it is a mashup because it's a very simple card the mashup being the techniques that we've used and the inky techniques and the well the chalk chalky techniques so we've used mixed media techniques on a clean and simple card and i think that's really clever and it's something you're going to see me do a lot this year do you know what i've been neglecting you i haven't even looked at the comments let me just flick over to struggle remembering must have a go with colors as you said yeah you, you've got to be brave <laughs> Audrey, see how long you know me, Audrey. You absolutely could be brave enough to do this, Susan Smith. It's a piece of card. It's not been four hours yet, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you have to trust the process, as everybody says. I don't know, it's just a common thing everybody says now, but it does make sense. So this is going on foam tape. I might add glitter, I might not. I quite like the clean lines. And I saw somebody on TikTok earlier. 
Let me just show everybody. I can't, well, I can't show you. I can't show you what they were doing, but I was watching somebody on TikTok earlier who's pinched one of my tips that I give you all and made a little video from it, which I thought was hilarious. So if you are on TikTok, you'll find me on there. I'll, I'll do a new couple of new ones when I get a chance. Uh, and it just made me laugh that somebody was using, quoting me almost word for word. And it just made me laugh. Like, oh, that's a really good tip. I wonder where you heard that from. So let's just get this on. Uh, just, just in case you are collecting the paints, there are going to be 15 new ones in the next month or so. So, time is of the essence. Let me just make sure I've got this the right way on. Yes, I have. So, plain white, plain white, plain white. And the introduction of the stenciling with the chalk paints. This is why I didn't need to worry about the glue because it's going to be covered up. This is going on here as well. And I can, I promise you these paints are, per well you've seen me do it. These paints are fabulous on cardstock, which is what makes them special, I think. Who You don't need to do canvases and things like that if you don't want to you can just do it with cardstock I can't believe it's only 10 past 8 we've done such a lot so remember when I did this card uh, hopefully you can see this we've got a bigger border here than we have there and that will make sense in a second. So a simple card, but technique heavy, which are my favorite sort for this year. Or oh, for the time being, I'm going to change that, in case you quote me. For the time being. <laughs> so now this is going up here. And I can line that up almost perfectly. Almost perfectly. Where are we? Come on. I'm just going to bring it closer to me so I don't... Headbutt the camera. Spot on. Absolutely spot on. How about that? Or oh, it would have been. So we've now created the background. So do you see what I mean about the white space? So the white space has made that quite simple. We're gonna come back to our butterflies and cut them out. I'll just quickly cut these out while you're all talking. I'll leave that there so you can see it. This is the point where it all goes rotten. God oh, bless you, just put glue on. We're also watching your PJs. I'm making this in my PJs, Tracy, you know that. We've got a copper glitter, Sue. In fact, I'm almost sure we have. So I'm just going to quickly fussy cut these out. Incidentally, these look nice cut out, don't they? If you haven't got this texture set, it's definitely worth having. It's fabulous. You could put little sentiments in this. <gasps> what could have done that? I might actually do that still. I 
I'm the worst cutter out here, you know I am, but that looks really rather lovely. Have you, look at that look. How fab is that? do it but that looks that looks really rather marvellous <gasps> I wish I'd done it now it's too late step aside Phil move us move on so we're not going to do anything to two of these butterflies we're just going to literally leave them just stamped in the scorched timber And no colour on them but one of them we are going to paint in petrol blue and I'm just going to give you a tip I'm sure most of you have heard this before but I've already told you you can paint with the you can paint with the paints the metallic and the chalky you can paint with all my paints Paint with all my paints. <laughs> Imagine that, everybody. You can paint with all my paints. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> what I meant was, you can watercolour with all my paints. And the more, the more water, the more translucent the paint will become which is, I think is a real bonus because you can't do this with all paints and it doesn't matter whether it's the chalky or the metallic. It's tickled me that I'm going to be laughing at that. Did anybody watch the snooker? Or is it just me that's boring? I missed the final and when I when I went up to do my workshop for, with, for America, Ali Carter was winning. I'm sorry if you're bored already with me telling you, but... Ali Carter was beating Ronnie O'Sullivan 6-3 when I went up to do my workshop for with America. And uh, I was gutted when I'd finished and gone down and, and he didn't win. Oops, if you've not watched it yet and I've just told you the results, I'm sorry. But I was gutted. I really wanted Ali Carter to win. <laughs> so I've got two, two that we're going to leave playing. We, we might just not have any left, Bev. We definitely did do a copper because I've got it on my shelf somewhere. Just me. <laughs> did anybody else watch the Stu Crow? Just me. I did, Pam. I really did. <laughs> I must have some, some boring... Habits as well. Right, so I'm just quickly fussy cutting. I'm not paying too much attention. I am trying to save the antennae, but I'm not too worried if I chop them off. And I'm going to leave two of them white. And I've just remembered, I've just realised, I forgot to stamp my sentiment before I stuck the layers together. So I'm going to have to add it as an additional. Now, if you're going to recreate this card, and I hope some of you have a go, just remember, you can change these colours to your colours. It doesn't really matter what, as long as the colours coordinate, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to have three butterflies running across this. Yeah, or I might just go straight, actually. Oh, I don't know whether I want that one in the middle now. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm not covering it up. So we're going to have one of them painted, and it's going to be the middle one. 
So if you if you recreate this card, everybody, what I should have done, and I can't believe I forgot to do it, the sentiment should have been stamped onto this corner here. Yeah. It's funny you say that, Elaine, because you know when we were kids and my, my dad used to watch the snooker and it used to drive us mad. We were bored to tears. We were absolutely bored to tears as kids, but I love to watch it now. Yeah, so if you're going to recreate this card, your sentiment should be stamped just there. Uh, unfortunately, I've... I've... Um, I forgot, so it's going to have to go on a second piece, which will annoy me. I could have it there. Could have it there. No, it's going where I originally planned. So let's just watercolour this middle butterfly. And I'm just going to use an ordinary paintbrush for this. And the paint. Kitchen roll. Well, that's good. Oh, no, I've got another piece here. I'm trying to reuse bits that I've already started. Let's do the... Let's do the... Um, let's do the teal metallic let's do the teal metallic look at this color oops oh how lush is that so let's do the teal metallic so a bit of water on my mat remember to dilute it plenty you'll still get the you'll still get the um, pearlescent shimmer Oh, you can't see it, but well, you can't see it, which is a shame. I'm just going to dilute it a little bit more because this paint will go over the over the brown ink. That's just too pretty. And that's way more than I needed. Remember, I've used an oxide. So if I get it too wet, it will bleed. Which actually is not a bad thing. In fact, I quite like it. So I'm going to go over it. That's lovely. So I will give this card away, as I said. So make sure you've joined the Facebook group, which is on your screen now. And we've had lots and lots of requests over the last week or so. And I've declined a lot of them because they didn't accept the rules. So just remember, if you're new to our group, you have to accept my rules before I will let you in. And it's just to keep everybody protected, really. And you know what? I'm having such a lovely time doing this. But I'm going to stop. And I'm going to try and show you how I've even managed to blend a, meta oops, a metallic paint. And I've wasted such a lot of that paint, which is a shame. Such a shame. So I'm just going to leave that to dry for a second. Look how I've managed to get the tones. They're beautiful. So leave that to dry. Pop it, pop it on the kitchen roll. I will stamp the sentiment. So it's a teeny, teeny, tiny sentiment. And I've got three choices that I got out tonight. Um, we've got the latest ones, which are the ones that I released to you early, just before Christmas, which are the just saying ones. There are two new ones coming at the end of the month that will give you this, the next two in this series. 
So just saying is going to be a series throughout the whole year. Uh, and they will either be four or six released at a time. But I'll let you have these two before Christmas. Or I could use the mini sentiments with the decorative banner. But I don't know whether we've got any of them left. So let's just see which fits better. And do you know what? I'm going to use this one. I am going to use the thoughtful sentiments. Because I love this sentiment here. I used it last time, I think. But I'm using it again. Because I like it. That's not straight. That's not straight. Now it's straight. So I'm just going to do this the naughty way. get this straight it'll be a bonus I love that I know I'm biased because it's my stamp but how gorgeous is that I love that it's teeny teeny tiny and it fits just nicely on the edge of that card. Oops, what's that? It's just popped up on my emails. Right, we are getting there, everybody. Hey, it's only 25 past eight. That's cracking. So that's nearly dry. And you can see the pearl is coming through, so I'm happy with that. So shape that. It's not 100% dry. Oops, as you can sell. <laughs> I'm leaving these ones plain. You could colour them if you wanted to, but I've left them plain on purpose. So three little butterflies. What was the stamp she used? Um, they're the new ones that I released. I'll let you, I'll let you lot order these early, just before Christmas. So these are the, they're all teeny tiny, look. These are A6 sets. And this is the Just Saying collection. So the first two were the Thoughtful Sentiments, which is what I've just used now. I'm sure I've popped a link in. The Thoughtful Sentiments and the Heartfelt Sentiments. And these are all lovely little dainty sentiment stamps. And there are two more, like I say, coming on the shows at the end of the month. And those two make up the first four. So I've got no glitter on here. I've just got one more thing to get. So just bear with me a second because I've got to find them. And don't shout at me if we haven't got any on the website. If we haven't got any, I apologise. If I can find them. That's not the one I was looking for. Uh, where are they? Bear with me, everybody. Oh, I've got them. So if I would, if I'd have used the, um, if I'd have used the mechanation stencil, and not put butterflies on, we could have used this for a card for for men. <laughs> I have been mean tonight. <laughs> so let's just see if that's dry. I love that. 
no splats, just brayer. I can see there's still a little bit still wet on the D. Let's put the butterflies on while we wait. So no glitter. You obviously could if you wanted to. I'm not putting glitter on this. As I, oh, I meant to ask you, have you been watching Pottery Throwdown? I love that programme. It's one of the things that I really want to do when I get time. So we're going to have this one coming on here. This one going in the opposite direction. And this one at a slightly different angle to that one so that it doesn't look the same. And you all know how I put my butterflies on. And I'm just going to show you a close up just in case you don't know how I put my butterflies on. So I try and get my butterflies coming off the page at an angle like that. Can you tell? I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can. So it looks like it's taking, taking off. It's just detail, small detail. And the sentiment. And then we've just got a couple of random pearls and I'm going to show you the pearls. And if you haven't got, if you haven't got these colours, you need to get them quick because we might not even have any. And I can't get them again. Some of them anyway. So I'm going to come, I think I'm going to go here and, oh, now then. Now then, I like it here. Shall I go with my instinct? Because my instinct is telling me I like it there. I like it there as well. Done. I didn't even look at the comments because I know you would have been telling me. Four different places. <laughs> so now we're just going to pop a couple of random pearls on and these are the teal shimmer and the warm cocoa so teal shimmer and warm cocoa so teal shimmer is the ones with the is the one with the uh shimmer surprise surprise so we're gonna have two up there one of each Yeah, sentiment's definitely better up there. Love it, love it. And we'll have a couple in... I'm not going to put them in between the butterflies because it looks like they've crapped on the page. So we'll have three down here. And we'll have two teal. And a cocoa. And I think that looks really rather fabulous. In fact, you know, if I had time, I would make a big version of this. I wish I had time to do lots of different colourways for you. Because we all get we all get in our own comfort zone and our safe colours. And these are actually safe colours for me. I, lo I love brown and teal together anyway. Brown and blue, brown and pink. It will wash off. I'm just going to get a drink of this freezing cold coffee. And then I'll bring it in for a close-up. And I'm going to do a quick recap of the, if you haven't got a brayer, get yourself a red hard, a red hard, a hard red rubber brayer. I do them in two sizes because some of us like four inches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
you know what's coming next, don't you? Some of us like four inches and some of us like six. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to tell you the truth when I'm doing it, it makes it the reason we've got both is for the obvious reason that if you're doing big areas it's easier with the six inch if you're doing small areas it's easier with the four inch that is the only reason why we've got a six and a four so let's just do a little close up so you can see everything in a little bit more detail you can see we've got the copper shimmer coming through we've created a pattern that flows so we've gone from we've gone from one side of the card down to the other i wouldn't do i wouldn't do the whole background because the whole point is to try and keep it simple-ish so we've kept all the all the base layers white we've got the white space in between which breaks up the color which breaks up the colour and I've kept two of the butterflies white and just painted one of them. And it's still drying, but you can, there you go, look, you can see the shimmer coming through on the paint now. And that was really, really enjoyable to do and it was dead easy. Dead easy, so four inch brayer is what I've used. I've used the Thoughtful Sentiments from the Just Saying collection. I've used Teal Shimmer, Warm Cocoa, the new Scorch Timber, which I actually think might be one of my favourite browns now. And that cover is really deceiving because that's how it comes out, look. It comes out like a proper chocolate brown, which is really nice. The paints we've used are... From the metallic sets, the teal and the copper. From the chalky acrylic paints, we have the petrol blue and the dreamy chocolate. Remember, I sell the paints in sets of five or individually. So we do it individually so you can just collect as you go. But the sets of five have been put together in workable sets. I've used the white gesso. I've used my posh brushes, which are from Finn, Finna Bear. Uh, and I'm, I'm almost sure we've got some of them in the shop. What else have I used? The stencil is the 6x6 Fanciful with the Fleur de Lis. Now the stencils have, have been hugely popular, so they, they're going quickly. And I've used the, oh, I didn't put these back properly, look, shame on me. We've used these two from the Notebook Botanicals. So the Wonderful Wings, and Karen said the Notebook Botanical stuff's on offer, which I didn't know. Notebook Textures, uh, Notebook Botanicals, and Wonderful Wings from Notebook Botanicals. So do you know what I think I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give the stencil away tonight because I know that they're quite low. So somebody, I want to give you the pearls, but I don't in case we ain't got any. So I'll stick to the stencil. So I'll give away the uh, six by six to somebody on Facebook and somebody on YouTube. So before I do all this, the brushes I've sold out, I thought they might have both. Uh, I'm gonna have to order some more because I've ruined some of mine. I mean, I can still use it, but Oh, <coughs> I've ruined it. But they're lovely for a change, eh? It's like a, it's like a, it's like art rather than a card, which is really rather lovely. So, before I forget, let's do all the all the socials stuff. So, obviously, if you have been watching me forever, you will know this. But you can find me on Facebook as Sentimentally Yours. And you can find my shop on Facebook, which is Honeypot Crafts. And you can find my own Facebook, 
which is Phil Crafty Martin. And here we go for the Phil M. Martins. So Instagram, Phil M. Martin. <laughs> TikTok, Phil M. Martin. <laughs> Twitter, even though it's called X now. Surprise, surprise, it's Phil M. Martin. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is, you can just search for Crafting with Phil Martin, and um, you'll see me on there as well. So let's flick over to YouTube and choose our first winner. So if you win and you can't remember what to do, just remember you need to send me a, you absolutely do, Linda, treat yourself to one. Um, you just need to send me a private message on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page with your name and address and a little reminder of what you've won, which would be the 6x6 stencil. Uh, it might be this one and it might be one of the others because there's a few 6x6s. So let's, let's choose a winner over on YouTube. So I've gone right to the top of the comments. And we're just going to scroll down. We're just going to scroll down. And scroll all the way up. And just scroll and scroll and scroll. And wherever it lands, you will be the winner. So good luck, everybody. Just make sure I don't miss anybody. So the, the mouse has landed on Andrea Rapley. I hope I've said your name right. So Andrea Rapley, congratulations. You've won yourself one of the stencils. So just send me a message on the Facebook page, please. The Sentimentally Yours Facebook page with your name and address and just a little reminder that you've won a 6x6 stencil. So thank you, everybody, on YouTube. I will see you all next Monday evening at the same time, 7pm. So Monday, we're back to Monday next week. And then over on Facebook, I'm covered in... Oh, over on Facebook, good luck, everybody. Same applies to you guys. Let me know on, on a private message. So all the way to the top. It's been nice getting back to normal, hasn't it? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And the winner is Margaret Wallhead. So the mouse has landed on your name, Margaret. Margaret Wallhead. So congratulations, Margaret. Send me a message, same as the winner from YouTube, on the Sentimentally Us Facebook page with your name and address and a little reminder of what you have won. So thank you, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed doing something, uh, a clean and simple mashup. So clean and simple it might not be, but it is definitely a mashup and it is very simple for me. <laughs> so thanks everybody, enjoy the rest of your evening and I will see you next Monday at our usual time of 7pm. Thanks everybody, bye. Everybody who's coming to the class tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow in Chef. Bye. <laughs> and I've just seen one of Bev's comments. <laughs> I'll see you next week. <laughs>